is, but you, you haven't fully answered David's question there, which is, it hasn't been a, as inclusive a government as we hoped. It hasn't, it's, it's not, you know, women's education remains a huge, a huge problem. I mean, the w future of women's cricket in Afghanistan, that, that lovely success story of Afghan cricket, and yet women's cricket doesn't seem to have a role. To I mean, these are very serious things, and these are being watched in, in the West, because people are, gonna, are saying... I mean, it's been weaponized, yeah. if you like. But, but it's also true, isn't it, that, that, that if you are an Afghan woman, your, your rights have, have gone back 10 years, 20 years. Two things separately. Number one, uh, is it an inclusive government? Uh, it, it, not right now, but Taliban have so far stated that they are, it's a transitory government and they want to include other people. What they have stated is that they will not include anyone from the former regime of Afghani. Uh, and really they need an inclusive government because Afghan, Afghanistan is a diverse society. It has uh, mainly Pashtun 50%, then there's huge Tajik mi uh, minority. And I have tried my best with the Tajik, Tajikistan presidents somehow to get them together. Then there are Uzbeks there, and Uzbekistan is trying to sort of uh, get them together. So the neighbors are interested that they all form an inclusive government. So it's a stable government. About women's, yeah, you know, please remember, Kabul, the women always had the culture in Kabul for women was different to the rural areas. In the rural areas, women's lives hasn't changed. This is how they live, you know, it's a culture. It'll uh, probably take time to evolve. The main issues of, uh, in Kabul itself, and Kabul, if you went there 50 years ago, the Kabul culture was different to the rest. Now, my contention is that rather than forcing Taliban, you know, to do this and include so and so and give them, they have said that they will give women uh, education. They have said that they will allow them to go to jobs in the Islamic culture. I don't think they should be pushed to, to the point where there is clearly within their, 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 uh, uh, the Taliban sort of, uh, 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 the ground soldiers, you know, who have a certain concept. You don't want to push them to a point because they don't have such clear leadership who can order them. And so they would, I would imagine they would have problems from within. So give them time. They have made the right statements. We have no other option. What else are we going to do? If we sanction them, uh, the, you know, there's going to be the biggest humanitarian crisis in Afghanistan. Chaos there. So uh, the best is to incentivize them to walk the talk, what they're saying, uh, uh, incentivize them. But if you force them, I would imagine the nature of the people is such that they will push back and, and they will, you know, it, it will be counterproductive. 